delicious, so delicious. You will love it. Once we get going, if you guys could create your own little Rollywood show like we're doing, and we think you're really funny, and that your chemistry is awesome, we will put you on this week's best videos. So it doesn't just have to be like the humor and the satire. You can get your little Rollywood show going as well. And you can even say we're the women of Rollywood because that's what we want to do. We want to create like, just like a, what do we want to create? Community? A community. I wish you were here so you could have some of this food with us. You wouldn't want to leave. Plus, we're a lot of fun to hang out with, aren't we? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> what did you do? Go swimming? <laughs> My little hot spicy streak there. That's your hot spicy streak. My mermaid streak. My kids. Her mermaid call streak. It. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, in, right. It's important to be um, informed, be educated, and take that responsibility upon yourself. Don't take everything at face value that you see at your grocery store, even at your a lot of um, fresh markets. Um, you need to do your own little research and be aware of of your, the products and where they come from. I just think that there's people that aren't really born, in a sense, with an interest. They just trust, and they go to the supermarket, and they buy, and they eat, and it, it just, like I was talking to this girl the other day, and I was telling her about, I was talking to her about a health food store, and she was like, you mean GNC? And I'm like, that was a health food store to her, GNC. <laughs> and so, these are good people. These are awesome, beautiful people, but for some reason, this information has just not crossed their path. And one thing I want to really express is that we need to stop calling each other dumb and stupid. And we just need to start sharing with each other. Because I find that. There, I, I just, I like to think I'm a nice person. And I just really dislike you when are, people. You are, mm -hmm. Very nice person. Thank you, I'm a nice person. But I see people out there that just like to call people stupid and idiots and... Let's be kind to one another. There's enough negativity out in the world. Yeah. Well, hopefully if you are actually watching this show, you are already on that path to enlightenment and you're eager to gain that knowledge and get that insight and advice on where to look for certain information, how to educate yourself and your family and friends on living a healthier life, healthier lifestyle. Yeah, and ready to share with others what you've learned. Correct. Especially your loved ones. Start telling people that have no idea that this stuff is going on. We need to start telling them that this stuff is going on. Yeah, just be informed. And you know what really gets to people? Like a lot of people for themselves, they like, oh, I don't care. But when you say, well, what about your children? Immediately, yeah. they start caring. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. We always want the best for our kids. And you know what? what's sad is that we all live very busy lives. Like, like you, you just think like... Um, like you go different places and the reason food has become the way it is is because it's it's fast, it's convenient. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, like I always say, what you come home, you slap a piece of meat on, on you know, on a fry, in a frying pan, you throw some corn in the pizza. microwave <laughs> or yeah, or pizza and um, what, you um, you nuke a potato and that's dinner. Mm. And you can do it all in like fifteen minutes. And that's most, a lot of people's everyday you. diet is uh, what? chicken nuggets, macaroni and cheese, frozen pizza, canned vegetables, canned fruit. I mean, that's what a lot of kids, some will, a lot of kids just know as their regular diet, which well, is amazing to me. Or you stop at your nearest drive through and pick up a bucket of chicken or some cheeseburgers. <laughs> And call it dinner on your way to soccer practice, ballet, karate, or what have you. And you do that because um, you have to work nine to five, and you're stressed out, and you don't have the time to cook, and um, everyone's right. needing your attention. And so it's understandable why we've kind of come to where we are, mm -hmm. but we need to start reversing things unless we want to all get sick, tired, and die. So I actually is... just went through my pantry. Recently, I've done this a couple times. High fructose corn syrup. I found it in the the most uh, peculiar things that I was. I thought again, even as healthy as I've been trying to eat and buy things for my kids as fresh as possible. 
even some of those things had high fructose corn syrup in it. And I just chucked it all. And you know, yeah. it's funny. Hunts, they have a um, ketchup. And right on the front of the bottle, right. they say, right. no high fructose corn syrup. Right. But you turn it around, and the number one ingredient is corn syrup. So, can you explain I that to us? I didn't read the label, Hunt? but I did see that the well, uh, I would the like Hunt's, cover. I didn't read the back. The words, I read the front of it. High fructose, right? I would like Hunts to explain that to us. Can <laughs> you explain that to us? They don't have high fructose <laughs> corn, corn syrup. syrup. We're, we're they have low here. fructose. GMO. They have we're low fructose. Corn syrup. Syrup. So, Hunts deserves... Yes. The, the Pinocchio <laughs> Award for this segment. Thank okay. You. <laughs> All right. So for being, what was Pinocchio? He was a liar. liar. Congratulations, Hans. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes. You have got to taste this dressing. This is my favorite chipotle dressing. Mm. I know. I never knew what chipotles <laughs> were until I looked it up because I could never find fresh. Um, chipotle peppers everywhere I'd go I'd be like do you have fresh chipotle peppers and they'd be like no and I I just couldn't figure out why there were no fresh chipotle peppers <laughs> and it turns out that chipotle peppers are really jalapenos that are smoked now I know that it's not raw but I absolutely love the taste of chipotle so I have a term that I'm sure you've all used as well once in a while is I, I call it raw-ish so why it might it might not be completely raw, it's raw-ish, because everything else is raw, but the chipotle. Girls, you taste this. Whenever I've tasted a chipotle I've had it before. A chipotle delicious. sauce or chipotle dressing, it never really tastes like chipotle. It, it's got a little smokiness to it, but it's never delicious. I make the most delicious chipotle dressing ever. or your cupcakes without the length. Now you can wear your favorite low-cut tops and dresses without the hassle of a full-length tank top that rides up and makes you hot. Cupcake cover tops stay right in place and offer the perfect amount of coverage. Here we have a broccoli salad. It has broccoli, red onion, sunflower seeds, and craisins. I know craisins aren't necessarily what you would call an organic sort of food because it's sugar on cranberries, but I was out of organic raisins, so we, I made it work with what I had. Okay, and this stuff is delicious. Anyone that doesn't like raw broccoli will love this salad. And Can we have some? Yes, <laughs> but first I I'm gonna salad. serve myself first. Okay. <laughs> Mm, yum, yum, yum. A base dressing that you can use Gorgeous. to make any dressing. This is just like the base, which is just simple uh, uh, cashews, lemon, garlic, a little bit of Celtic salt, and a little bit of the sweetener to balance the flavors. And mm. then you just mix it in there really good with um, with all these different contrasting tastes in the salad. And it's it's what? And what are you mm. using to as a sweetener? Mm. I used um, honey. Mm. Honey. I know some people don't like honey, but we like honey. I love it. This is so good. I love it. honey. Mm -hmm. This is so good. So good. You know what we can do? You see these cucumbers after they've been soaking for a while, they actually will get really soft. Okay. And I don't like, personally, soft cucumbers. So you should eat them? Well, you can eat them. Or, <laughs> or you can just blend them. Oh. And just make, um, just make... More of a sauce? More of a dressing, yeah. Ooh. Or you can use it as sauce. You can nice. use it on anything. Nice. So, because cucumber will actually thicken up any dressing. Oh, okay. And so, instead of using oil, you can use the, the cucumber to thicken stuff up. Fabulous. I like that. And oh. cucumber is so good for your skin. Well, we still have a fruity dessert. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'll always have room for more. Welcome back to Rollywood. We're here with what we're calling <laughs> dessert. Usually, we make, um, what, um... Raw cheesecake, raw pie, raw cake, raw chocolate, mm. raw truffles. Uh. <laughs> but we've decided to keep it plain and simple. Here. We have a lovely presentation of half a cantaloupe with some fresh blueberries. 
we have some cherries. Girl, do your cherries for the camera. We need to chill out. all these like celebration foods using heavy nuts and seeds and sugars and the reality of it is that too much sugar in any of its forms is not really good for the body but we think that if you have children or you yourself like I, I just know most of the time people want uh, after something savory you want something sweet it's kind of like the yin and the yang right. and um, and so you could have a piece of raw apple pie or the cheesecakes or all the things that we mentioned, but too much of that is almost just as bad as the junk food that's out there. And so some would even argue that that fruit like this is not good either. And maybe it's not, but I love it. <laughs> but we have to think it's better than the drive through at McDonald's. So what are your feelings? What are your feelings like how do you guys feed your kids? What do you do to to try to make your family healthier like what foods have you given up what foods are you embracing is it a struggle or is the family is the husband on board are they adapting are the children complaining like um, what are you experiencing as you try to transition to better eating one of the things that we really want to talk about is we want to show you exactly what constitutes raw food because I most of the time when you tell people that um, I'm eating raw food, they say, "What do you mean, like a raw steak, uh, right? Raw chicken, or sushi, carrots and celery sticks, right? Carrots and celery sticks." Yeah. Well, you saw what we ate tonight. Food. Delicious. You will be so surprised what you can make food without fire. I think that raw food restaurants have a hard time making it in certain areas of, the, of different cities. Just because a lot of people don't know about it, and plus it can be very pricey. But um, the well, place we had is... a great one here, Elaine's Cafe. Oh, that was, was vegan. It wasn't really raw food. Well, there was a lot of raw food available on that menu. Really, I never saw it when I went there. Oh, I did. It was mostly cooked stuff. Mm -mm. Well, I must have been there on the day they did <laughs> make the raw. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they had a nice selection of raw ice creams and... Mm -hmm. It wasn't mm -hmm. exactly raw. I beg to differ. We can come, we can get into a little cat fight. <laughs> <laughs> Makes the show a little bit more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Listen! <laughs> the, the ice cream was terrible. It was terrible. No! It was delicious. No, Don't it, listen to her. It tasted just as processed as other junk out oh, there. No. No, now you've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. It was it, just kidding about throwing the water on you. It was terrible ice cream. <laughs> it was. I no. That's I didn't it. We like have it. to have an ice cream throwdown. A raw ice cream throwdown. Hope you enjoyed the Rollywood show for this week, and please tune in next week when we will have a, a new episode. This I'm Ginger Lime. I'm Saucy Red. I'm Hot Spice. Hot Spice. What? what? <laughs> hot Spice. Ginger Lime. Hot. I'm Saucy Red. Ciao. Goodbye.